Guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial and today I will be teaching you the new most badass way I found for boolean fracturing or like fracturing geometry inside of Houdini. So um, first things first, uh, be after I show you this some people are going to tell me, oh but the material fracture, the material fracture is a great node, um, uh, we can cover it briefly after I show you Actually, I'll show you the material fracture and then the boolean fracture, but the material fracture super, super uh, briefly. So we do a material fracture. Um, this is kind of the way of fracturing geometry that is much more, um, I would say, in a way, much better than using the Voronoi fracture. Of course, it takes a little bit more time. All right, so our geometry is fractured. So let's do uh, an exploded view just to visualize what happened. And uh, boom, you can see that all of a sudden the this thing does break it up really nicely. Um, the one thing that I'm gonna note is that the geometry is a little bit heavy. So I'm just gonna show you guys the examples with a sphere and then we can t uh, show the final example with our name right here. Okay, boom. So you will see that it immediately fractures it. Uh, some of the cool things about it is that here on the cell scatter points, you can increase the amount of points, and um, that means that it's going to fracture in more pieces. <clears throat> um, this is kind of like an invisible fog volume that is creating uh, the noise for the spurs. So you can like change the offset here of the noise or reduce the frequency. And the, the pieces clipped are gonna change a little bit. And then there's two levels of this. You can go into the secondary level and add like another 10 pieces, and then the pieces that are broken get broken again into smaller chunks, as you can see. So that's pretty, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Then you also have chipping, you have detail for the edge detail and the interior detail. I like to do the interior detail because this is gonna add detail to the inside pieces, like that. And then you can control the noise here. To get detail in the inside and the edge detail is just going to add edge detail here and constraints um, this is good because it preps things up for our video simulations but enough of the material fracture today i want to show you the boolean fracture which is a really cool node um, that i've been using lately for this kind of stuff as well let's start off with the sphere as well um, and uh, we're going to drop a grid Um, with this grid, let's visualize it, and I'm gonna do a copy stamp. I want to copy a few grids, and I'm gonna rotate them in random directions. Right, and then we're gonna add mountain noise to them. Increase it. And then we're going to need to copy here, paste relative reference. Let's make this like 200 so we can get more detail out of this. Okay, so. We're going to make our sphere bigger. And we're going to drop down a Boolean fracture. The geometry here. And then our stuff here. And then it's taking a minute because the resolution here is what dictates the inside resolution. But look at this. Look at those cracks. Show you uh, with the exploded view. See how nice detail you get on the inside because it's driven by the mountain here. 
And the so yeah, we change the mountain is going to change the seed of the way that it's broken on the inside, and it's also going to change the detail on the edges as well. Um, and if we were to reduce this to say 50, you will see that the amount of detail on the inside is dramatically reduced. But it's fast to tweak, it gives very nice edges, and you can basically get like these very little details here, and you can do a transform and copy a bunch of these ones and put them anywhere you want. So if you wanted this piece to be smaller, you can literally just grab a transform, merge it here, and place this at a smaller scale on this piece. And that's going to give you a lot of detail on your fractures. Super easy to fracture and control the areas where you want more detail. Now, what would something like this look like we're new? So I'm merging first because I want to see the scale. Our new has to be quite a bit bigger. And Let's grab this, let's put the transform here. And just to show you, I will put this one here. Duplicate the transform. Merge this transform here. And this merge here is just for the sake of visualization. I'm gonna duplicate that, make it smaller, rotate it, and then we're gonna fracture the face with smaller pieces. And let's rotate it just for the sake of you guys seeing that how powerful this can be. And then last, I'm just gonna add 120 subdivisions just so that we get more detail. So the nymph goes on the left input. We get rid of this merge, and this one here goes on the right one. Right, so see the everything else, so it looks simple. So all you have is the geometry on the left and this piece of grids on the right. Let's have a look, it's gonna take a minute.
All right, guys, so I'm back. Sorry, I had a little bit of a problem there. So, essentially, what I ended up doing is like, um, if you look at the actual geometry, like my geometry here has like probably has some hole or something in there. So, like, I just converted it to a VDB. Uh, you can increase the resolution size so that we keep whatever detail you want and then convert that to polygons, and then that way it's like nice and close uh, and, and it'll work for what we need to do. So we have the two grids that we set up, one smaller and one one bigger, uh, one and two. To make this one even smaller. Uh, and then when we do the fracture, it works. <laughs> so see, um, you can get some very interesting sort of fractures using this method. And then you can even copy the surface attributes. Um, and let's do a color here to visualize the interior and the exterior groups. So in this way, you see that you have power on to isolating both the inside and the outside groups. And this should give you all the control you need for generating um, really cool fractures. Alright guys, I hope you guys like this tip and we'll be back with more.